Morning, YouTubians. Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to the 1960 Volksrod Baja Franken Beetle build, whatever we're going to call it. I'm not really sure. Getting some fantastic, absolutely fantastic name suggestions. Keep it up. I got a list going. You know what? We might just do a little something something for uh, whatever winner I decide to pick. So today, we're going to continue on the front beam. Uh, last video, we started on some of the bracing. This week, we're going to go ahead and pull everything apart, and I'm going to show you how we're going to brace the underside, make sure everything's super solid. And on a plus side, guys, I have a nice working swing axle transmission to replace. Drum to drum. As if you remember, on this one, the input shaft was cut. And I'm not 100% sure what kind of shape this is in. This is for, a, that's an earlier, it's for a six volt flywheel. Of course, the 2054 and Jawbreaker will be going into the 60. That's of course got a 12 volt flywheel. So kind of made sense to go with a uh, 68. Nice strong 412 ring and pinion gear in it. I think we'll be all right. So first things first, I need to get the transmission out of the way, car slid over, get disassembled, I'll get set up, and we'll catch you here shortly. Before we get going too far this morning, I do did want to look at one thing. And that was to see if the stock tank would fit. Believe it or not, it's almost there. Almost. So what are we hitting? Steering, of course. Where? Right there. But actually, it's real minimal. So what we could do, believe it or not, hold on, is if we actually notch the tank out over just like this notch it across put like a L piece in there we would be able to run our stock tank whether or not we're gonna run this one or not that's kind of be a little determined still we got a couple holes in it and some holes getting ready to pop through may have to find another tank or I may try to fix this one. We'll uh, see when the time gets there. Anyway, at least that kind of helps ease my mind a little bit. I can run the stock tank with some minor modifications. So that's awesome. All right, let's get to tear down. Well, this is where we're at, besides a, another rainy day here in Florida. So we've got the beam extension, we've got the tabs we welded on. What we're going to do is we're going to plate the top of these, weld them all in solid. That way this acts as a strong support on both sides. Remember we had to cut this one a little short, keep it clear of the pitman arm. So that's that. We've got a little plate we need to fill in here for the tie rod that came across. We need to fully weld these one by ones on. We need to go ahead and fully weld the frame head onto the plate. And we're going to go ahead and gusset the back. Remember, we're going to go ahead and put that piece in here that comes down. I'll probably put a couple pieces of angle or something in the, 
on the corners just to make sure it's good and solid. And then on the bottom side, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bottom section out and put a solid plate from here all the way back. And we'll probably go ahead and tie in a couple pieces of this one inch square tubing. So that, therefore this will be completely solid to this. I know it's probably overkill. I know it's probably over-engineered. You know what, I'd rather be safe and make sure this thing ain't coming apart. What's a little extra time and effort just to go ahead and make sure it's solid? Trust me, it'll be solid. We'll be able to take this thing airborne. It'll be solid. So first things first, I think we're gonna get diving in on this. I'm gonna save this for a little bit later. Or vice versa. Really not sure. Oh, and a little FYI for you. Running my little Eastwood 135. I love this MIG. I'm running 023 wire with uh, 25, 75 uh, CO2 argon mix. Great welder. But if you open up the side here and look at the chart, I'm trying to do like 3 16th, 10 gauge, and I don't have an option for 025 wire. I actually have to run over to 0.35 flux core, turn my gas off, swap my positive negatives around, do flux core, gasless versus gas, you gotta swap your polarity. So we're gonna give that a whirl, see how that does on this. I'd rather use my MIG, honestly, than the stick, but at least I know it on the stick, I can get things to burn in really well. Now, speaking of getting the stick to burn in really well, that thing's solid. I burn that thing in at like 120 amps. It'll be good. And we've also got the little steering adapter piece that I made to go from the steering box so that U joint, we gotta finish weld that, clean that up. So we got quite a bit. I won't bore you with everything. Probably just time lapse a little bit of it and I'll bring you back in a little bit. never said I was a master fabricator. However, I went ahead and put that plate in here as you saw. Got that ground down. And I'm really going to make the top of this solid. Again, we'll still buzz the sides. We'll probably put a plate or something in here. Fill that in. Now we still got to cut the bottom out. Do the bottom, still finish well these. And what? we go we're gonna go ahead and gusset this in here a little bit better put some gussets or something in there just to make sure she's good and solid but as always it's a ton of welding and it's boring I'll bring you back all right guys we got a little bit more work done I'll show you what we did so we got the plate on we got the sidebars fully welded on <laughs> this is the fun part right here. Hold on. We cut the bottom open, so we welded the frame head to the beam on the inside, so we have outside-inside penetration. I know it was a little rotted, so we cut the bottom out, put in these two one by one by 3 16th, thick, real thick. All we gotta do now is kinda clean up the outside some 
do a little repairing here, and then one solid plate is going to slip under here, weld to this, and come all the way back and tie and along the beam itself. This thing's going to be pretty solid. And then again, with your side, your side pieces going up to the other beam, it's going to be pretty solid. I'm going to tell you right now, that thing breaks. It wasn't meant to be. This thing is definitely solid. We ain't going to have any problems with this. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Got a lot of other stuff to get done. And honestly, we still got a lot to do on this. So at least the beam extension is pretty well solid. Just got a little bit of finishing up to do on that. Some minor stuff. Get the beam straightened out. The gussets we made, plate in the tops. And I'll tell you what, this thing's going to be ready to be on the ground permanently. Except we got to remove the body. We still got all that to do. And pans and channels. But you get the, uh, the drift. We're pretty much there. Now I can tell you this. I picked this up from Eastwood. Killer welding helmet. I'm not sponsored. It's the L6700. It's their large view, clear view style welding helmet. Man, I can tell you, that thing is awesome. Best welding helmet I've had thus far. Don't buy one from Amazon. Don't buy one from anywhere else. Get one from there. Again, I'm not sponsored. Just finally bought something really good. Anyway, I appreciate y'all sticking around. Hope you guys have a safe, wonderful week. Be kind, stay healthy, and be good.